Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are brand new. So we just came back from Walmart. Um, I, would, I would not say that this is a grocery haul. It's kind of got different different items. We got something for our birthday party. Penelope got something, I got something. We got a few food items and non-food items. So if you wanna see what we picked up at Walmart, please keep watching. I saw a lot of Pioneer Woman, woman, it is Pioneer Women, woman, Pioneer Woman stuff too, and I am obsessed, um, and I'll show you all that in the later part of the video, um, but yeah, make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a haul, and give this video a like, and let's get into this haul. Just to show you, these are all the bags we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, guys, I'm going to start over here. Penelope is going to a birthday party this weekend for some of our good friends. And the girl's turning six years old. And we got this little makeup and nail polish set. Because she, Penelope told me the girl likes to like kind of do makeup and stuff like Abigail. And it's this really cute backpack. I think it was 10 or 11 bucks. Um, she's also giving the little girl some chips. These are flaming hot. Uh, she loves spicy chips. We got a um, three liter Coke. Got two of these Vegasil. I won't say what, what <laughs> exactly like say everything what it is, but you can tell what it is. And but that smells so good. Um, this one smells really good. This one is coconut hibiscus. Got some cleaning wipes, disinfectant wipes. Got some um, pop uh, caramel popcorn. Gonna try this, it looks good. Got two nerd ropes. Me and Abigail are about to get into those. Husband got two of these um, Lindsay Crafted Medium Waffles, Green Ripe Pitted Olives. He loves these. Um, and then we got some, we can tell we love our popcorn. This Act to Extreme Butter. We picked up some peanut M&Ms. Picked up two of these coconut milks. Picked up these Equate Ultra Thin Pads. Um, Penelope got a new volleyball. Um, I got picked up this hat and I thought it was perfect because I'm always having a bad hair day. It's a pretty tie-dye one. And it was $8.97. And I really love this. This Pioneer Woman Shower Curtain. A dainty, uh, I can't say that word. Dot accents, and it was regular $19.88 on sale for $11. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And then we picked up these Simply Ruffle Sea Salted Potato Chips. <clears throat> the first sip just hits just right. What's up, guys? Good morning. <sighs> How are y'all doing? I haven't, like, actually sat down and chatted with you guys in a while. Like, sat down. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm just, as you can tell, drinking my coffee. You saw my Walmart haul. I actually filmed that last Friday. Today is Tuesday. So, I filmed that on Friday because we went to Walmart on Friday. And I didn't want to, it's such a small haul, and I didn't want to put, like, a two-minute haul up by itself. So, I just connected it with this. Um, this coffee mug right here, my fabulous small, fabulous small, was a pretty expensive coffee mug. Um, I got from my mom one year uh, for Mother's, I think it was for Mother's Day. I got it, yeah, probably. It was either Mother's Day or her birthday, and I'm pretty sure it was Mother's Day, so... Yeah, I'm trying to wake up. Um, I have some crazy dreams, y'all. Very, um, I have very vivid dreams. So, my, uh, I have to wake up 
my husband works overnights and he'll call me at like three or four in the morning. He used to get off earlier between one and two, but now he's kind of busier at work. So he gets off at like three or four and I just, I just make sure to have my phone on because I'll fall asleep. I usually go to sleep around 11 or 12 and I don't usually dream anything from the first time, but every time I get back from picking him up and I come back home and then I've got like, what, two hours left to sleep before my alarm goes off to get the kids ready for school. I have the most vivid dreams, crazy dreams. I've had dreams of YouTube friends and I thought of telling some of my YouTube friends that I had dreams about them. I probably should have, but I didn't say anything. Um, and I've had dreams that my mom was alive again, and she said she didn't really die. I've had dreams, some family members have been in my dream. Um, I had a dream that a family member was like cuddling me. Um, but like the, the, it was so weird. It's, it's just so weird. But the love I felt when that person was cuddling me was like God's love, like God's unconditional love. You know, nobody can give you the love of God. That's the most perfect love there is. And yeah, I just have so many crazy, like I'll go and text my sister like, man, I had a, this dream and I don't know. It can be good to have dreams and it can be bad. But mine are very vivid. Um, yeah, my mom's been in some of my dreams. Um, and dreams are just strange. <laughs> I'm trying to wake up. Very strange. And like, I get a, uh, uh, maybe I do dream some weird stuff too because I do go to weird spots on YouTube. What I mean by weird spots is, um, hold on. Need another sip of coffee. Okay. For instance, I watched the Selena movie. I know it's crazy. I know Selena came out many years ago, the movie, but I just saw it for the first time like uh, two months ago. And it was a wonderful movie, and J-Lo did a great job. Um, Penelope kept saying, J the real Selena is prettier than J-Lo. Um, that's what she kept saying. And it, you know, in a way it sucks because, um, Whenever I watch a movie or a TV series, I'll always go and look up the cast, and then I'll start to get obsessive over it. So after I watched the Selena movie, I was watching, like, stuff about her death, news stuff, what people were saying, and about the lady that killed her, too, and um, what else. And then Selena's husband, gosh, I forgot his name. I don't know why, for the life of me, I cannot remember his name right now. Somebody's going to say it in the comments, but I really thought it was cool because someone was interviewing him and he said, um, they were like, you know, we, we always wonder what Selena could have been. And someone interviewed and asked him, do you think he, she would have been bigger than J, J Lo? She would have been bigger than a lot of other people and, you know, just this big celebrity. And I really like what he said it was really kind and it could true. And he's like, and he said, you know what? JLo worked hard on her own to get where she's at. So props to her. Like you can't compare anybody or say where anybody would have been because everybody's worked hard to get where they're at. And he said, Jennifer's really a great person and she's worked really hard to get. And I thought that was very kind and very, why do I very just thing to say? You know, he could have, because Selena was the love of his life. He could have said, oh, Selena, Selena would have been the best. And, you know, but he said something really unexpected. And, yeah, I would love to go and see the Selena Museum and all that. I live in Texas, and, but I haven't been to Corpus Christi, and that's where all that stuff is. So, I definitely, definitely want to travel more. But what I'm saying is, whenever I start to watch, like, a series or something... I'll go and Google the cast and all that. So I watched Selena, I, like I watched news coverage over her death. And I really wanted to see more one-on-one -on -one interviews with Selena to really get to know her and like who she was. But it was hard because at that time there was no social media. Um, like, you know, for her Instagram or TikTok or any of that. 
so you there weren't really that many interviews and there weren't that many like little clips to get to know her on a personal level you know because it was all before social media media what is that oh, i thought i saw something on my hand and um so i wanted to see more interviews of just her and like get to know her but this is a really sad story i was surprised i didn't cry in that movie I cry a lot, though. I think I've cried enough tears in the past couple of years that my tears are kind of... I know I say that they're dried up, but, you know, tears will always come sometimes. But anyway, I kind of I kind of get obsessive over stuff, and, I like, I kept watching stuff about her death, where they buried her, and it's kind of creepy to watch that kind of stuff late at night. Like, my kids are asleep, and I'm alone because, you know, my husband's at work, and... I kind of creep myself out, and then I watch, like, this stuff about Paul Walker and people going to his grave, and try, they got those little tape recorder, EBP, I don't know what you call them, to try to talk to Paul, and then I started to think, what the hell, what, what part of YouTube am I going to? I need to get out of it. I'm freaking my own self out. I need to stop watching this stuff, and y'all know I've been watching Little House on the Prairie, and, uh... Then I look at the cast, and I know that Michael Landon, I've known that he did die of can pan pancreatic cancer. I knew all that, but I still, like, obsess over, like, the whole cast, and I've just been watching stuff about them. And I did watch this video where they, he's where he's buried at. He's in a building, and, um, yeah, I just... I went to places that I went too far. Like, I... I and then I have, like, some freaky dreams about death and stuff. And then my husband said, that's why you need to quit going that far. Don't watch all that stuff. And I don't know. I just get obsessive over, like, you know, of the act. Just to know, just to know what went on and stuff like that. Yeah. So, Selena... Little House on the Prairie, I'm currently watching. I keep telling my husband I'm going to make him watch an episode. Uh, me and the girls kind of have a routine. We watch one episode uh, before bed every night. Sometimes I'll watch an extra, extra episode after they go to bed. But usually after they go to bed, I do YouTube stuff. Um, and me and my husband are watching a series right now. And I usually, like, let him pick out the series because I'm pretty chill like that. Of my husband's kind of into like, um, uh, what do I say? Dark stuff, scary stuff. And we've seen Saul, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we've seen Grimm, the series Grimm. I really enjoyed that. We saw Dexter. We've even seen the most recent Dexter. Really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I did end up really liking Dexter and Grimm. Um, and then we started this one. Now, we don't have Netflix or anything like that. We just buy from Amazon, like, um, a series, different series. So, this one, what we're watching right now, is called Black Sails. And it is a pirate show. It's about pirates. I forgot. They only have a few seasons. Um, and this is old. I think it came out in 2016 or whatever. And I didn't like it at first. Like, I was telling my husband, I don't want to watch anything about pirates. But now, like, I'm really into the storyline, and it's really good. So, um, that's what we're watching right now. I'm really enjoying it. We're almost finished. And, yeah. Little House, Black Sails, Watch Selena. I just need to quit, like, going too far. Oh, and then, and then I don't know how I got started. I was watching stuff about Columbine. Uh, and the killers, Dylan and Eric, recently, the last couple of days, and, uh, Rachel Scott, Rachel Joy Scott, she was one of the, she was the first one to be murdered by them, and she, she had a premonition that she was going to die young. That was, that was so interesting, and I've just got to quit watching uh, kind of freaky things late at night because then I freak my own self out. My husband's not here. My kids are asleep. I don't have a dog right now and I just kind of like freak my own self out. So tell me not to do that. <laughs> but I have crazy dreams too. So let me know. Do y'all have like really vivid dreams? Do your dreams feel real? Um, 
I do sometimes feel like messages come through dreams. Um, I do, so. Okay, so today the plumber is supposed to come fix the sink. He was gonna come yesterday on Monday, but Penelope had a school uh, rehearsal thing for her choir concert, so he, he's gonna come today instead. And I am about to open some friend mail um, that I got from my beautiful friend Bex. Uh, she used to have the channel Life with Kids and Cats. Y'all may know very well who I'm talking about. Um, she's my very dear friend, and I'm very sad that she doesn't have a YouTube channel right now. <coughs> I don't know if she will get it back. Her, unfortunately, her channel um, did get hacked into, and I miss her. Like, I literally miss her videos. Like, I wasn't just watching because we're YouTube friends. Like, I literally enjoyed her videos. I enjoyed seeing the cats, and I really miss her videos. And we're just really good friends, and she sent me a package, um... And I got it, I actually got it last week, but I haven't been able to open it because I wanted to open it on camera just in case she wants to see me open it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to open it and see what it is. Um, but yeah, I really, I don't, I know some of you may be subscribed to me that were sub subscribed to Bex. Um, I really do miss her. She is on Instagram. I don't think she's very active on Instagram right now. Um, but keep her in her, in your prayers. Um, for her health and stuff. She's got a chronic disease and um, I actually need to check on her. I'll probably text her today, but I'm gonna go ahead and open what she sent me. This is a present for my birthday. Um, it just got here a little late, but I'm really excited to open it. And she's just a very dear friend, very, such a sweet soul. I hope she gets her YouTube channel back because uh, I really miss her vlogs, and I'm sure a lot of you do, too. I had a couple of you ask me about her, because um, y'all know that we've done a lot of collabs together. But Okay, so this is the package. First of all, how pretty is the wrapping paper? It's so beautiful. Me and my husband pulled up the other day, and we're used to having lots of Amazon packages on our porch because my husband gets stuff from Amazon all the time. But I saw a package, this package, and I was like, I told him, that doesn't look like an Amazon package. I said, I think that package is for me, and sure enough, it was. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh. Amazon package, kind of. I'm going to use my minivan key to open it. I'm so excited. Okay, so we've got some wrapping paper here. I love tissue paper, and I love to reuse tissue paper. <gasps> I see something Coca-Cola. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that card is. It's like personal, personalized. It says, happy birthday, Tiffany. Have a lovely day. Oh my gosh. Have an amazing birthday. Love uh, all my love, Bex. She's so sweet. That is such a unique card. I love that. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. She knows I'm a Look what it is. I guess it's like a little Coca-Cola purse thing. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. I could keep change in here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I did not expect that. That is so adorable. Oh my 
gosh. I did not expect anything Coca-Cola related to be in here. If you don't know, I am a Coca-Cola freak. Oh, it looks like some chocolates are in here, some biscuits. Oh, gonna have some yummy candy all the way from England. Ooh, Cadbury, many fingers. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <gasps> Party ring minis. I love tasting treats from other um, other countries. Maryland cookies birthday cake. There's so much in this little this box. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I'm your little worm, worry worm. Keep me near and squeeze me tight. Tell me your worries and everything will be all right. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Oh my God. I see that the kids' names are in here. One's for Abigail and one's for Penelope. It says Penelope on here. That is so neat. Oh my God. I'm your little worry worm. Keep me near and squeeze me in. Tell me your worries enough. That'll be great. That'll be great. Penelope has some tests coming up. She can keep hold on to that. Ringtons. Wonder if this is tea. Oh, they're biscuits. I got biscuits from England. That is so neat. I will open that up in just a second. There's a few more things in here. <gasps> a charcoal pill off. Love that. I need to do more mask. Oh my gosh. I've needed some collagen gold eye mask. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of them here. One. Two, three, four, collagen crystal eye mask. Dang, girl, you packed this well. Welcome to Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'll be a witch. Oh my gosh. What is this, actually? Oh my gosh. There's an angel wing here. I have an angel watching over me. I call her mom. Oh my God. That is so nice. And it's almost Mother's Day for me to receive this. Oh my gosh. She is the sweetest person. Oh my gosh, Bex. And this, look, tech. Oh my God, I think I know what this is. Is this a car freshener? She put a picture of me and Joseph and the girls on here. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I think that's what this is. It's a car freshener. It smells good. Oh my gosh, y'all, I wish y'all could smell it. Look, it's a picture of me and my hubby and my girls. That is so nice. It's personalized. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It's a Coke candle. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. I thought it was a little Coke to drink at first and then I went like, that's a candle. I, my gosh, I never expected so many things to be in here. And this is a soap from the body shop. O-M-G. Well, I just thought since I'm enjoying a warm cup of coffee, I'm going to have some biscuits. These are Rington's. That is so cool that I have biscuits all the way from England. Uh, stickiness going on me. Um, so I'm going to have some biscuits with my coffee. Well, I, Be Bex, thank you so much. This is amazing. Like, the fact that you personalize so many things...
looks like it's chocolate chip. This is what it looks like. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. So good. I'm going to be eating these all day. So it's pretty much like chocolate chip cookies. I guess they call them biscuits over there in England. Oh my gosh. But Bex, I, I don't know how to thank you for all of this. This is just a lot of stuff. It's really personalized. You know me well. I, I, I love everything. I really love the angel wing that says, I have an angel watching over me. I call her mom. Girl, that that is amazing. Honestly, I want to cry right now because that is so sweet. Um... Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my biscuits. I will see y'all later. i got to go text Bex right now and say thank you. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.